important things we want you to get from our show is not just some of the information that we're talking about, but we want you to get excited about trying some new things on your farm. If you want to take your yields to the next level, if you want to break through that plateau, you want to move well above your county average in your area, there are a lot of new exciting products out there. We're going to talk about some of the ones that we're using on our farm today because we're always doing lots of experiments and you know, not all the time do they pan out. That was Sometimes. what I was going to mention. I, I mean, the, one of the most important things here is don't try new things on all your acres. You want to try new things on a few acres. For us, we farm 2,400 acres. We'll try new things on 500 of the 2,400. So we've got about 10 new things that we might try. And you know what? Some of those are going to fail. Some of those are going to be a great success. And then we're going to use those on all our acres in the future. That's how we've taken our yields and just about doubled them in the last 10 years. We just keep trying new things. We fail on some stuff, but the stuff we have success with, we keep pushing that and it just keeps getting better and better. One of the new things that we're going to try on our farm this year is a product called torque. It's for use on corn. It's actually an in-furrow product that can mix right with our insecticide or our liquid fertilizer, which actually works pretty good for us just because you can only have so many different things. You have to start mixing if you're going to have a few different things going on. And this is one that does seem to mix really well. For torque, what it's going to do is help promote better root growth, better early start on your plant, uh, and hopefully a healthier plant all the way through. Yeah, it's a biological product. So it's going to be a little different than you might be used to. And, you know, again, we don't suggest you try this on all your acres but it has shown good potential we think it's definitely worth trying on our farm so we're going to run some tests over a few different fields do some side-by-side -side work and i think it'll hopefully turn out like we've seen in a lot of other data around the country and a lot of the data showed that it looked really good with quick roots, a product that we're already using so if they can work hand in hand torque may be a fit for our farm darren mentioned quick roots because that is one thing that we tried years ago and we tried a little more the next year, tried a lot the third year, and now we do the whole farm. We, won't, we don't even do any tests anymore because we know that works. It's a proven commodity. Well, one of the big issues this year is that guys didn't get their fertilizer on last fall. We didn't have a fall. It was <laughs> conducive in many areas due to weather. And also, in the meantime, the fertilizer price was so high. Ridiculously <laughs> high, yes. That, man, can you really afford to do a full rate? Yeah, so everybody's looking at what, what do they have for options. One of the things that we're trying this year on our farm is some very low soil salt starter or what I would call pop-up fertilizer. We're going to put some ag liquid fertilizer right in furrow. They've got some products like SureK so I can get a lot of potassium out there, which we need on our farm and have very low salt content. They've got some phosphorus, some micronutrients, some different things that we're going to be trying and experimenting with on our farm. But I just think there's a lot of potential. So here again, if you didn't get your fertilizer on, if you're looking for a way to go where maybe you can reduce rates and get better usability in the plant, having it more efficient, I think there's good potential there. Now when it comes to fertilizer, keeping that fertilizer available is a really big deal and uh, we're trying a couple different things both on nitrogen and on our phosphorus. Yeah, spring. avail for phosphorus and neutrosphere for nitrogen, you know, and we're probably a little behind on this. Usually we like to be leading the way, but uh, avail and neutrosphere, they've been out for a couple of years now and we have yet to try those on our farm. So we've got some experiments going right now. We've already put them on on our farm. So I'm interested to see how the yield result turns out, but it looks very promising and it's unbelievable how many people are using these products around the country. We've had so many questions we felt we had to try those this year. The other thing that we're looking at a little bit different this spring and it's kind of off the subject of crop production but it's what do you do with that crop once you have it and we got an ag bag around our farm so instead of having more bins we can actually put stuff in bags and have uh, have some short-term storage. For well us. I'm hoping that we have tremendous yields again. Our one, one problem we've had, a good problem I guess, is we keep running out of storage space because our yields have been so good. I mean we've had yields beyond what we ever even hoped by this point. Point. So I just hope that it continues to go that way. The other thing, we've had a lot of question on fertilizer. Guys are wondering, what can I do for very short-term fertilizer storage? So there are some people actually using this ag bagger and storing fertilizer in there for the short term. Works out pretty well. Well, there are a lot of different trials going on in our farms. So it's going to be an exciting summer to be talking about all these different things that we're looking at and walking out in our field, seeing what differences there are. And of course, this fall, seeing what kind of yield response we have for some of the different things we're doing. Yeah, but an important thing is not all things that are going to work fairly consistently work every single year. In other words, it could work 90% of the time, make you lots of money over a 10-year period, but you know what? The one year you try it might not be the year it hits. So that's why we like to make observations through the year too. So well, we've got a big field day on our farm coming up this summer. You know, we'll be out there monitoring these things as we go along. We're looking for visual proof in addition to the yield at the end of the year. You absolutely have to watch everything you try during the year because you know what? You might get hailed out or you might 
uh, have yep. some kind of harvest issue where, oh boy, I, I, I just can't get a good yield data or I had to go through that field. I couldn't keep track of which was which or I lost where my strip was or something. You've got to check that stuff during the year so you know what's going on. Well, another thing you definitely need to know what's going on with is your weed control program, especially if you've got our Weed of the Week. We'll talk about it later in the show.